Good evening, everyone. Pat Dorsey here, Umqua fly designer. Tonight, we're going to tie a Mercury tungsten bead cased caddis. I tied the original Mercury caddis a few years ago and then recently came out with the tungsten variation to increase the sink rates. It's important to note that this does use a silver lined glass bead, the Mercury bead, which is available in two different sizes a small and an extra small. Most of the patterns that I tie use the extra small, but this uses the small. So that's very important to note. And then the bead is a tungsten bead. This is a 2.5 black bead, but it is turned around backwards. So the countersunk side butts up with the silver lined glass bead. So those are a couple important things here. Hook is a Tiemco 200R, which is a great hook for this type of fly. We'll begin with some six aught uni thread jam knot behind the bead. We'll get us a little thread wedge belt in there to secure those beads. And one thing that I like to do is just adjust those beads, get them straight before I put some final pressure to lock those beads into place. Then we'll advance the thread back rearward towards hook bend. And we're going to take some hair's mask dubbing. I typically blend my own hairs mask up just so that I can have a lot of guard hairs in the mixture. This pattern typically is going to look a little on the messy side if it's tied well. We'll begin with a little bit of dubbing and we'll start to develop a nice little body. I'm sure you're familiar with case caddis and this particular version is a brachycentris, which really constitutes the Mother's Day caddis hatch. You've probably hooked a little twig-like looking apparatus on your fly from time to time, and that's actually a Brachycentris, Brachycentris caddis. If you actually squeeze that little twig, you'll see that inside of it is the actual larva. So with this hair's mass dubbing, we're actually creating the case itself, and it has a nice taper from the bend of the hook up towards the bead. The black bead will simulate the head and the larva will tie out of some UV chartreuse dubbing. We'll take a little band of chartreuse dubbing. We'll tie it right in behind the bead there and then we'll just take a couple turns there. And a lot of times what I like to do is I'll take some black, black Sharpie here and color that tan thread black prior to whip finishing. And we'll clip off our, our thread. So we have the mercury bead, which highlights that gas bubble effect that takes place during a caddis emergence. We have the tungsten bead to increase the sink rate. And that little band of chartreuse dubbing becomes a trigger and attracts nearby trout. Typically this is fished uh, mornings and evenings, uh, you know, when behavioral drift occurs, that's when it's, you know, really deadly pattern. But um, brachycentris are really become victims of catastrophic drift as well. So there's really never a bad time to fish this pattern. I hope you enjoy this pattern as much as I have over the years. It's truly one of my favorite attractors for much of the year.